Hey! Hello everyone and welcome in a new video. In this video number 36 about Ansible, I'd like to show you how to use some elements about uh, variables like env or prompt or uh, vars. So if you want, you can subscribe to my channel. To not miss the next video, you can like or comment uh, this video. Purposes uh, of uh, this uh, this tutorial, uh, we see we'll see uh, how to use an environment variable, how to get an environment uh, variable uh, in our playbook, how to define a prompt when uh, you want uh, to. Uh, the, the user who run uh, the playbook uh, set some variable, for example. Let's go and start with a quick example uh, to define uh, a non uh, environment variable uh, during our uh, playbook. So I just uh, run our deploy.sh uh, script. I want to create uh, two containers like uh, like uh, virtual machines. Okay, now I have uh, two containers like servers here, and uh, I can run dash dash Ansible to create an Ansible directory with our inventory. Okay, so I can uh, check it with. A cat command. I see my inventory and now I can do a playbook dot yaml file. So I remove all. Yes. And now we can start with the name of our playbook, my first playbook, for example. And we want to target all servers so I add uh, the all group uh, the name of uh, group is all um, and now uh, I just want to set an environment uh, variable like like here and uh, I want to define a an environment variable named uh, passlib with, uh, for example, varlib be careful to indentation, okay and uh, now we just use uh, tasks and we define some tasks first task, uh, we just want to do an output with our uh, environment variable, passlib and uh, we just uh, want to debug it to see uh, what is the content, what is the, the definition about uh, this uh, environment variable. So I add a new task named uh, echo, for example, and I use a shell command. I just run an echo uh, command of our passlib variable and to keep uh, the output, we need to define a register with uh, a prefix uh, dash dash. And uh, I had uh, just output, the name of our uh, register, our variable. So now we just want to uh, add a debug task to print uh, our output. And I use debug and uh, vars and I want to see the output register ok and now we can run it we use uh, the ansible playbook command line dash i specify my inventory oh yes we need to go into ansible dir ansible playbook dash i my inventory and my playbook. Uh, sorry, where is my file? Oh yes, sorry. 
just need to move our playbook file here with MV. Yes. And uh, we use Ansible playbook dash I, my inventory file and my playbook file. Okay. So if we were run it, um, oh, typo in our playbook file. This is not vars, but var. Okay. Just one var. And now what we see, we have the first task where we have uh, our echo command. Okay. And after it, we just print our, uh, with the echo, uh, we just print uh, our uh, output register. And we see we have our uh, varlib. This is uh, the value of our passlib uh, environment variable. Right. Um, so be careful because uh, we just set this uh, variable only uh, for the run, for this run. And uh, if we check when we go on uh, one of this server with SSH 172.17.0.2, if I uh, check with AND, um, we don't have the, the environment variable named uh, passlib because we just set this uh, variable only for uh, the Ansible run. Okay. Another example. Uh, sorry. Another example. Uh, if you want, you can use um, you can use a non-environment variable from your Ansible server. So, uh, for example, we just want to set a non-environment variable named env for environment, like uh, production or uh, development or other. Uh, we set it to uh, production, for example, and we can check it. Okay, we have our uh, we have set our uh, variable, and now we want uh, to do uh, echo, but we use a lookup, and lookup take our uh, environment variable on our Ansible server and use it on our target server. So we can check it. We just change our playbook task. And in the echo uh, command, we just set uh, this variable. Uh, this is a Jinja uh, variable with our lookup. And we define the type of uh, our lookup to env for environment variable and the name of our uh, variable named env. And we can check now, we run it again. And we can see the content of our variable because we use an echo command and we see we have production, right? Uh, if you want, maybe you set or not uh, this variable, you can use a filter, we'll see it uh, later, a filter to define a default, a default value like it. If we go here, we add a filter with pipe. We use the filter named default with a value to stage, for example. And we just uh, unset, for example, uh, unset our env uh, variable. And if we just check it with echo on our uh, Ansible uh, server, we just have an empty uh, variable. OK. We run our command again. And what we see, we see we have the default value to a stage, right? And now what we want to do, we want to use a vars, a vars prompt to use a prompt to ask to uh, the, the Ansible user if you want to set a, a variable with a value. 
And uh, uh, to do it, this is, uh, we just add uh, two lines, vars prompt and the name of uh, our variable. So we go in our playbook file. Uh, I remove it uh, and I use vars prompt prompt like here and the name of this var prompt is uh, for example uh, my var and uh, to check it we just change the echo here and in the echo we just add here uh, my var like here yes and we run it again Ansible asks us which value we want to, to set uh, our variable. Uh, I want to add uh, Xavki, for example. Oh, sorry, Xavki, for example. Oh, uh, yes, sorry. I run it again. I had Xavki. Oh, this is a, a masked uh, variable. And when I uh, had, uh, when I set my var to Xavki, I have uh, my var uh, in, uh, uh, and uh, we have Xavki in our output. Okay. If you want to, you can uh, define uh, uh, a sentence for ask uh, to, to, to the Ansible user, and uh, you can set the default value. To do it, we just use it like here. And uh, we keep my var. We just add, uh, oh, we can set, for example, uh, and environment, for example, uh, environment API, for example. Which environment? This is uh, the question for uh, our, uh, our uh, prompt. And we can set a default value. Uh, for example, we can uh, set uh, it to to test or testing, and now we just change here uh, the name of our variable, and we run it again. Now we have a question. By default, we have the value. Uh, the this variable is set to testing. So if I uh, if I don't uh, set this variable, just press enter, and we have the default value to testing. And if you want, we can run it again and add to production, and we have the production value. Okay, thank you. That's all for today, and thank you for following this video. And uh, I see you in the next video. Bye.